Hi, I'm Tara Lee Cobble of the Bible Recap Podcast and Book. And today you and I get to talk about the verse of the day, Hebrews 12, 11. Here's what it says. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. The book of Hebrews is a letter to early Christians, and one of the main themes of the letter is the supremacy of Christ. It focuses on Jesus. So that's the greater context of today's verse, and it's fitting that we anchor our understanding of this verse and our understanding of who Jesus is, because no one demonstrated obedience and discipline like he did. Philippians 2 tells us that he emptied himself. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death. As his followers, we're not being asked to do anything that he didn't demonstrate for us first, and we aren't being asked to do anything that's even close to what he did. Death on a cross is painful. And then when we talk about fruit, the harvest of righteousness and peace, you and I are evidence of that. You and I being here in the word today, fixing our eyes on him, we are part of the harvest of the result of Jesus' obedience and discipline in dying. This particular section of Hebrews is also talking about the discipline required to overcome sin. So discipline is something you can do, but it's also something that can be done to you. For instance, you can be disciplined in your own life as God's spirit empowers you, or when you fall short, God himself may be the one who disciplines you. He doesn't discipline you out of anger, but out of his great love for you. He's patient with you. I don't know what struggles you're up against today. I don't know what sin patterns you feel incapable of overcoming. I don't know where you've lost hope. And I don't know where your heart is inclined to mistrust God or be angry with him. But today, I wanna invite you to remember the harvest. It may feel like winter in your heart today, but as you lean into him, as you learn to trust his discipline, you're one day closer to the harvest. There's a harvest of righteousness and peace coming for you. And today you're one day closer to seeing the fruit.